Hello world. Today's video is about spotting the last diesel run of Ubli Kochiveli Express and behind the scenes of the efforts taken for it. Shashank and I had made plans to do train spotting for the entire day. We had decided to meet by 8.30 hours in the morning at Rameshwaram Cafe for breakfast. Then do train spotting till Vande Bharat in the evening by visiting different spots near Tumkur. 13th September 2023 I reached Rameshwaram Cafe at 8.30 hours. I tried calling Shashank. Unfortunately, his phone was not reachable. I waited till 9 hours and started back home since there was no response. I was thinking of where should I go for the last turn when I got these messages. We finally decided to meet at 10.30 hours at the same place, Rameshwaram Cafe. Many of you ask me about the food I have during the trips, so I have decided to include the food menu in the videos from now onwards. My breakfast was pongal with vadai. Generally, I prefer idli in the morning, but the issue I face with idlis is that I start to feel hungry quickly after having it compared to the other options. I felt pongal will be the best option to avoid feeling hungry till afternoon. We finished off the breakfast with hot coffee before heading to the first location. Plan was to reach Irheldi before Palace Queen Amsafar Express. Palace Queen Amsafar Express has a non-stop run from Davangere to Kesaru Bengaluru and on some days it runs one hour before time. Looking at the status, we were around 49 kilometers from the spot we had planned near Irheldi and the Palace Queen Amsafar was nearing Tiptur. The race was on. Let's see who will reach first. The reason to spot this train is for the EMDs of the Bhagatki Koti diesel loco shed. Once the electrification work is completed between Belagavi and Miraj, we believe the train will switch to electric link. Our max speed is around 80 km per hour while the train will be doing 110. It was not easy for us as we were made to slow down at many places due to traffic and the train showed no signs of slowing down. We were around 8 km from the spot we had planned and the train had just crossed Katsandra, which is around 6 km from Irali. The nearest track location to us was 5 km away. We were destined to miss is what I felt at that moment. As soon as we approached the road over rail bridge, the train was noticed, we stopped and immediately started recording. The train turned out to be the late running Vasco Ashinpur Express and it became a saviour for us. We checked on the status of Palace Queen Amsafar and the train was waiting at Irayali for clearance. Irayali to Nidavanda is a 12 km block section and only after Vasco Express clears it, the Palace Queen Amsafar will get line clear. So we had around 5 minutes to choose a different spot for the Palace Queen. We then moved to the spot we had planned. Time was around 13 hours and we decided to head to Irali station for spotting the last diesel run of Ubli Kochiveli Express, the train for which the strip was done. The 
we had planned for a lunch meet up at tumkuru with another friend so we decided to move skipping the spotting of siddhaganga intercity bound for darwad and tumkuru chamrajnagar special as soon as we reached tumkuru we met our friend and decided to spot velankani vasco express before proceeding for the lunch Yes, if you're wondering, the friend is Santosh. My lunch menu was Mangaluru bun and pulao. Our next plan was to do train spotting on the Arsikere end till Vande Bharat Express. Santosh had work and he promised to meet us again in the evening for tea. I believe our train should have run here by now. The bridge work started more than 10 years back. The Tumkuru Rai Durga and Tumkuru Davangere new line. Due to land acquisition issue the project never moved and the current situation remains the same hope everything falls in place and work is completed quickly this will help reduce the distance between bengaluru and bellary also the distance between bengaluru ubli belagavi pune and mumbai as well this in turn will also save time we reached tumkuru outer first to spot the karnataka sampadranathi express which recently switched to electric link Our next location was Malasandra station. I still remember seeing Hero Dalco with Jaipur Garibra special here a decade back. How things have changed. Things were slow due to a caution order of 45 year. Wish we had noticed it early. Could have gone to a different spot to get the trains at a good speed. We finally decided to settle near Gubbi till evening. I've got great memories from this spot as well. Shashank and I split here till evening to spot trains from different angles. Unfortunately, due to bushes all around, I had to abandon the plan of getting a wide-angle shot of trains and settle for just trackside captures. The sun setting time was really special, and the clouds added more colors to it. Really enjoyed watching the sky change from blue to yellow to orange to pink. After Janashatapti Express, it was time to wind up and move to Tumkuru first for the meet again with Santosh. We decided to have veg puffs and lemon tea for the evening. Veg puffs was easily obtained, and we had to roam a lot for the lemon tea. Let me be honest, all the efforts were worth in the end for this one. We were then talking a lot about the current situation of the railways before saying goodbye to each other. Time was around 2020 hours when we started from Tumkuru and reached Bengaluru by 22 hours. Though the day started with confusions, it ended on a happy note with good train spotting and good food. If possible, I'll try to capture the first electric run of Ubli Kochiveli Express next week. And with this, we have come to end of this Kutti story. Hope you all enjoyed it. See you soon.